Hey, hello, welcome to The Blessing Report. Let's get to the conversation. I want to hear from you. Should Christians celebrate Halloween? Is Halloween demonic? Leave your com <laughs> comment below. <laughs> Let's talk. This should be interesting. I'm gonna tell you from the devil, ex-devil worship for 25 years. You know, a lot of these candies that you, you give your kids and you buy in the stores in Halloween, they are prayed for. These candies are prayed for over de demonic people have prayed over these candies. They know what they're doing. They pray over these costumes. They know what they're doing. Hello, welcome to The Blessing Report with Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy. And to start, we want to thank our sponsor, Faith in Humanity with their mustard seed necklaces. So we're actually running a giveaway. If you want to win a mustard seed necklace, just um, comment below your favorite um, Halloween alternative, um, like festival or celebration memory in the comment section below. All right, and then um, last year I actually made a video about the origins of Halloween. Um, being Samhain and the history of Halloween. So that's not his video, but if you want to check out this, that video, it's right here um, with our click through screen. But in this video, we are going into um, is Halloween um, demonic and if Christians should um, celebrate it. And I'm going to say this I'm going to be very candid, I'm going to be very raw, I'm going to be very honest about it because I don't really want to. I don't really care about um, Christians um, basically justifying what they're already going to do. I want to know what the Bible has to say. I want to know what God has to say. But not only that, I want to know what Satanists have to say about it. I want to know what witches have to say about it. Because if they are calling something demonic and if they're calling something witchcraft or satanic, I'm going to believe them because they're practicing. All right, so I have um, two people that I want to reference um, in this video, uh, along with um, some clips I want to show throughout the video. One being from Beth. She is an ex um, witch in Wiccan that was actively practicing um, New Ageism with some elements of um, Mormonism. But also, I want to uh, clip, um, cut it to. John Ramirez. He is a now Christian who used to be in the occult, um, the Messianic, along with um, used to be a Satan, like a legitimate Satanist devil worshiper who um, was sold or sold his soul um, to the devil. But both of them are now practicing Christians, right? And so they um, teach on spiritual warfare along with um, informing Christians about the demonic witchcraft, the occult, and um, Satanism. So, yo, uh, check out their videos and also make sure to click the description box below uh, or just do a Google search on their names. So, so I'm, I'm talking to you for 25 years that I celebrated Halloween as a devil worshiper. I'm, to, I'm not talking to you from second hand situation. So, All right, so top five reasons Christians should not celebrate Halloween because it's demonic. I think an aspect that we need to consider is why does commercialized Christianity do not believe in the occult, um, supernatural, or with witchcraft, which is ironic because the entire Christian faith is built upon Jesus claiming to be the Son of God and God himself entering a human body, dying, um, and being resurrected in three days. Everything in the Christian faith is supernatural. So I think we need to be less naive and less spiritually immature to only believe in God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and angels, but not believe in hell, the devil, and the demons. So we have to believe the Bible in its entirety, and we can't pick and choose parts, right? So if the Bible does say that the devil, along with one third of the angels, rebelled against God, and when they were exiled, that one third of the angels became demons once they got kicked out of heaven 
where are they now, right? And how do you move and how do you open yourself up to the supernatural and the occult, right? So I wanna teach on the supernatural when it comes to um, principalities, majority, and spiritual warfare. So first we have um, Ephesians 6, right? We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but um, spiritual warfare, rulers and darknesses, um, in high places, principalities, and evils, right? So there are several ways that you can open up yourself to the demonic, the occult, and witchcraft. And the Bible says in the Old Testament that um, rebellion is the sin of witchcraft, right? So you can open up yourself with sin, just rebelling against God, right? Opens you up to witchcraft. So you should know that in your living, but you can also align yourself with activity, words, and um, practices, right? So, what they acknowledge in the Old Testament is said that um, in the book of Daniel, right? You have Daniel praying in an archangel not being able to um, come basically to his help and aid because the principality of Babylon was stopping him, right? So we have um, basically um, the devil calling like I think the prince of the air and so we have a natural life we have a natural walk that we're going through right everything that we see right we have a spiritual world around us still in the same plane of the earth and right now we cannot visibly see um angels and demons without like the gift of discernment of spirits which is in first corinthians 9 or 12. It's in uh, 1 Corinthians 12, right? So that's a gift of the Spirit. Um, the Bible also references this plane, right, as the second heaven, right? And, but we also have heaven, like legitimate heaven, the new kingdom, new earth, new heaven, right? And that's where God is throwing the angels are. And that is um, described in the New Testament in the Bible as the tertiary and that's also referred to as the third heaven right so if we have the spiritual plane of where angels and demons are moving about but having um, spiritual <laughs> ramifications in our natural life then there should be some type of engagement since we are spiritual beings we have a body soul and spirit so we have to acknowledge what can we how can we align ourselves with spiritual practices that we should not open ourselves up to and that's including like spiritual gates um oftentimes you hear in sermons not i don't know if it's in the bible but like your eye gates your ear gates but all you're doing is giving spiritual authority just like that sin that we mentioned earlier, but also uh, with your beliefs, your ideologies, and just the practices that you take part in. So when it comes to part of that alignment, again, I don't care what Christians have to say. I wanna know what Wiccans, witches, and the satanic, messianic, and the occult, <laughs> Satanists believe. And they um, celebrate Halloween as like their third most important Sabbath day um, because they believe that the spiritual plane between like the spiritual world, the natural world and death is easier to contact um, the dead because the veil is um, thinner, right? So this is where we come from the history of Halloween coming from Samhain being a Celtic, Irish, German, and Scottish holiday um, and being a pagan holiday, right? Um, so Halloween is strictly an American holiday celebrated by Canada, the United States, and Mexico with their own Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Them also believing that we have contact with the dead, all right? I also want y'all to do a Google search on a man named Anton Leve. Um, out in California, he has died, but he started the Church of Satan, 
<laughs> and uh, crazy stuff, right? And he said that he was so excited and thankful that Christians would allow their children to celebrate Halloween. So if you are aligning yourself with a man <laughs> who is a Satanist and saying, hey, thank you for opening yourselves up to the demonic and the satanic, then I'm going to believe this man over a bunch of Christians that just want to do whatever they want to do. Another demonic reason, Anton Levine was a person, he was the, he, he was the priest of the Church of Satan out in California, and, and he, he was a devil worshiper for many, many, many years. He had 8,000 people in his church when he started, I may as well call it church, his demonic building. And one of the quotes that he quoted, he said, I want to thank every Christian parent for allowing their children at least one time a year to celebrate my holiday. And this is coming from the devil's mouth. So another reason celebrating Halloween is such a, uh, I would say, I would say it's such a, a, a eternal mistake is because you not only cursing yourself and you opening your doors to devils. And so again, I'm going to quote both uh, Beth the uh, former Wiccan, now Christian, but also John Ramirez when it comes to how we open ourselves up to the demonic, the occult, and the satanic, right? And so John Ramirez was saying that um, when it comes to like these candies and these practices, you have <laughs> witches in the satanic um, people cursing the candies, right? And he, uh, this is why, and I, I want y'all to do a Google search, but this is why I believe John Ramirez so much. Um, he sold his soul to the devil and um, grew up in the occult for almost like, until like his adulthood or however. A man who would astro project his soul out of his body and curse neighborhoods, right? So if he's saying that something is satanic and these are the practices of the occult and the demonic, I'm going to believe him <laughs> before um, I believe anything, right? And so this is why the scriptures um, tell us that we should not um, take part in uh, witchcraft, soothsayers, um, any like new age um, zodiacs, horoscopes, um, practices, because we are aligning ourselves spiritually by what we're doing in the natural. And so, um, again, this is a Celtic um, belief system um, where the veil is less rent, and this is where the costumes um, come in. John Ramirez says these are also prayed over and cursed by Satanists and witches um, that when these spirits are visiting houses, um, we would dress up, and this is where the costumes come in, so that we can blend in with them, right? And then the candies come in is so that when these spirits are visiting us, that we can appease them. So you see the same thing in Dia de los Muertos, where um, you leave like candies um, on grave sites uh, for, I don't know, your, I guess like ancestors or whatever. Um, Whew, I'm getting a little tired. <laughs> um, but if this is um, just the practices of the Satanists and the occult and the demonic, I don't think we should align ourselves like naturally, right? So this is what the Bible says in the New Testament. It says that we have the freedom to do all things, um, but not everything is um, profitable. Not everything is beneficial. And so if um, we have a history of paganism, the Bible clearly says do not practice holidays or celebration onto pagans. Why are we doing this? And so I don't want to use like our liberty, our freedom to be a stumbling block to like one another, right? And so I also don't want a false parallelism when it comes to using scriptures out of context. So um, you have the scripture in the New Testament talking about if meat is offered to idols, um, should we eat it as Christians? And it's like, yo, um, don't do it. <laughs> um, don't do it if it's like a conviction to you. But the, the verse also continues to say, um, don't let your liberty be a stumbling block to someone else, right? Um, but the reason I was saying is that there is no spiritual ramification 
um, of these meeks, right? Um, if they're prayed over to like many gods, but it does not say anything when it comes to principalities, right? Things that are directly demonic because meat is neutral, food is neutral. Um, but when it comes to like holidays, I'm not saying like days or whatever, but I do think we don't acknowledge that there are principalities when it comes to like, uh, <laughs> we're getting a little deep here, but I just like thinking time and astrological alignment, right? And this is why um, you have like a blessing on the Sabbath day, right? And so it's like, huh, why is there something there? Is there um, something specific to the day or is there something specific to like um, the principalities and the rulers, not the, well, not the rulers, <laughs> um, the laws and principles um, when it comes to God himself, right? So we don't want to go strictly with opinion, we want to go um, to scriptures also. So we have in Deuteronomy, it says, do not consult or call up spirits or ghosts or the dead. And so these are actually the origins of Samhain and Halloween, being able to speak to the dead, just like the holiday, the Dia de los Muertos, believing that your ancestors, um, you can contact them, but they're not actually spirits or ghosts, they're just demons, right? Um, in that second plane. And then you also have 1 Corinthians 10 verses 20 and 21. It says, clearly you cannot participate in um, drinking of the cup of demons in the cup of the Lord, right? And so when it comes to holidays and celebrations, if this is the third highest holiday in witches, Wiccans, and the demonic and Satanists, why are Christians engaging in it, right? And so I think, again, there's a false parallelism, parallelism um, there when it comes to like holidays, because they're like, oh, if we're not celebrating pagan holidays, then you can't celebrate your birthday, you can't celebrate Christian because, that, I mean, not Christian, um, Christmas, because that's the winter solstice, you can't celebrate Easter because um, I forgot what holiday that um, Easter is. It's like the reproductive or like fruitful goddess of, <laughs> of like sex or something. But I think that we should put all these holidays on the um, chopping block, even when the false parallelism and straw man argument of like Sunday being worshiped to the sun god and Monday being worshiped to the moon god. I do not believe that names are the same as practices, right? We are actively engaging in the practices by doing the costumes, doing the rituals, doing the accessories versus like my birthday, there's nothing satanic about my birthday. I'm not doing something when it comes to like practices or spirituality or principalities, right? And I do think that we should acknowledge, I think this is in 1 Corinthians 10, um, know that our weapons of warfare are not carnal, but they're spiritual. And we have to think about deception. I, I'm just like, why? And this is also why 1 Corinthians 12 um, talks about the gift of the spirits and um, discernment of spirits um, is a gift, right? So we actually have to think about this. How is the devil fitting into this? Like, that's one of the biggest things that I don't think Christians um, think about. Um, it's like, hey, is the devil desensitizing us to spiritual warfare, the demonic, the satanic, by making things seem natural and opening up ourselves um, to being like, hey, this isn't demonic, this is just a holiday, this is just for fun. Where does the devil fit into this? Because followers of the devil, <laughs> the demonic, and the Satanists say, hey, this is how we fit into this. So we need to see if we're aligning ourselves with um, spiritual darknesses, right? And then even if I was not to go strictly supernatural and move just to the natural, um, Halloween has probably the second highest um, crime rates when it comes to violence, crimes, peaking and human abduction and kidnapping, um, sex trafficking and um, sexual crimes and abuse being committed 
versus every other main holiday in the United States when it comes to um, like drinking holidays. Number one being the Super Bowl. So watch out. <laughs> so why am I aligning myself if the Bible is saying like, hey, don't engage in pagan practices, but also just naturally I'm opening myself up to <laughs> violent crime, sexual abuse, um, sex trafficking, trafficking, abduction of my children or even myself and my friends and my family. Um, in the Bible, God speaks very clearly about not being involved in paganism, witchcraft, mediums, um, sacrificing children and things of that nature. But what many people don't know is that Halloween is a high holy day for Satanists and witches and other occult members who actually hurt uh, people and animals. Um, they do things, it's not just on Halloween. Uh, Anton LaBay says that Halloween is the third most important um, holiday on their calendar. He, if you don't know, was the founder of the Church of Satan. He is now deceased. Uh, the Church of Satan is not deceased though. And is alive and active. And um, Satanists actually love the fact that Christians celebrate Halloween because Halloween opens you up to your dark side. Now, I know a lot of Christians say that they don't celebrate the evil of Halloween, but the thing is, is that you really can't get away from the evil of Halloween. It is a day dedicated to Satan, evil, and death. So as I was saying, witches see Halloween not as evil, but as you know, celebration of the dead and partying, but Satanists and other occultists see it as a day, yes, of the dead and partying, but to them, that means um, human sacrifices, animal sacrifices, uh, ritual abuse, such as beatings, and uh, also sexual abuse. So it is very real that babies are being murdered, animals are being murdered, and other people, children and adults alike, are being abused. Um, it's the real deal. And so Halloween, um, Easter, and Christmas time are huge pagan holidays that they do these kinds of rituals, but Halloween is one of the... There might be a parallelism, well, not... Uh, um, if we cannot say that this is a direct um, causation uh, when it comes to spirituality we should uh, pick up on the correlation when it comes to spirituality if Satanists, Wiccans, witches are saying this is demonic and um, spiritually <laughs> things are going awry uh, we should pick up also on the natural cues of like huh there might be something there <laughs> if this is not a typical holiday um so if this is opening us up with like sexual um, promiscuity sexual immorality um drinking and drunkenness lewdness or um what wild target parties which are called debaucheries um in the bible it's like hmm i don't do this any other circumstance why am i doing it now and again you don't see us um doing this with any other holidays of any other faith and religions right i don't go up into i think it's a mosque when it comes to islam and be like hey i can win souls if i just delve into the darkness where do we see this anywhere else right and even we should acknowledge the false practices um where the pumpkins right um have some type of like catholic um catholic principles uh, where the well this is just the pagan principle is that it was believed that the light and the lantern would ward off evil spirits we believe that the blood of jesus in the name of jesus wards off evil spirits for at the name of jesus every knee will bow every tongue will confess and um demons tremble at it right but um if we're aligning ourselves with the spiritual principles when it comes to um, pumpkins lighting it because it's supposed to ward off evil spirits do we believe in what the bible says or do we believe in these practices but the catholicism comes in because it was believed to be um, the eternal soul being the flame and the pumpkin being purgatory so um, this was an effort to try like to redeem 
an email <laughs> pagan practice and holiday, but you really can't do that, right? So we have to believe that we have real doctrine or false doctrine, right? So that's all the information. I gave you all the statistics. I gave you the history. I gave you the practices of the witches, Wiccans, New Age. But yo, let me hear from you in the comment section below. Are you going to continue practicing Halloween? Or do you think it can be redeemed like with, I guess, like Trunk or Treat or the Tribulation Trail? I actually thought that was pretty cool. Um, going through the Book of Revelations, which is actually biblical. Um, or um i forgot the other like christian holidays or whatever again um, this video has been sponsored by um what's it called faith in humanity we have a giveaway um with their mustard seed so if you want the mustard seed necklace just comment below any good um Halloween alternative um, that you remember and also this video has been brought to you by my books searching for land and also um science of salvation the manual for manufacturing manipulating faith if you want to really explore the demonic witchcraft and the occult that book right there is a systematic practice of like you know how this is how it works um along with c.s lewis's screw tape letters right Whew. um again uh, we have regular teaching videos this is my favorite day of week wisdom winston wednesdays whatever you want to call it where i'm doing regular teaching which is my favorite and and then um next week we are teaching on um top five reasons men do not go to church we're talking about um church culture and um the church pandering <laughs> pandering um to women but the week following is going to be my favorite we're teaching on you cannot follow Jesus and horoscopes. So we're talking about witchcraft, the occult, the demonic, and zodiac signs, witchcraft, um, horoscope. So check out all the um, topics in the description box below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if the video has been helpful to you. And then on Thursdays, we have Relationship Thursdays. I don't really care about those that much. <laughs> but I like to give the gospel of Jesus Christ, of um, Jesus being able to save us from the occult, the demonic, the satanic, witchcraft, and um, him redeeming us by his death, burial, and resurrection, um, able to save our souls from the devil, his demons, and hell. So remember that God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing to someone else today off of social media? Thanks for watching.